You know, I was just looking at a tweet from Adam Kinzinger. Now, this is a couple days old, actually one day old, uh, 4.13 p.m. yesterday. You remember Adam Kinzinger. He's that uh, anti-Trump Republican congressman who is going to be out of a job at the midterms, not not because he's going to get defeated, but because the uh, Ohio state government rewrote their districts as they do every every census. Right. They rewrite the districts. And so those districts have all been rewritten and his has apparently been been eliminated. Ohio, I think he's Illinois. Actually, I said Ohio. I think it's Illinois. Anyway, it's Ohio or Illinois, you know, close enough. As long as Indiana is not in between them, that's close enough. All right. So Adam Kinzinger, though, uh, U.S. representative tweets out in response to apparently maybe Israel. He didn't feel was getting enough behind the concept of Ukraine starting, uh, excuse me, NATO starting World War III in Ukraine against Russia. He says Israel's reaction to Ukraine will have bearing on future aid from the U.S. to Israel. Pay it forward. Hey, hey, don't forget who butters your bread, Israel. Don't forget we could take all this aid away if you don't do what we like. If you don't agree with what we want to do, we want to start this war against Russia. If you don't, If you don't get behind it, uh, you could see all that aid money drying up. I mean, A lot of smart people in Israel. Boy, oh boy, I just, I don't, you know, to look at the threats. I mean, the threat. so it's not just you folks at home. It's not just me at home, you know, be, being threatened by big tech, being threatened by cancellation, being worried about our job, being worried about all these things. It's not just us. Now, state of Israel is in jeopardy, according to Adam Kinzinger. If they don't, if they don't take the right course and support our, which I assume he's saying, you know, we're going to be getting into a war there, right? I mean, because really what's there to support? Uh, right now in the Ukraine. We should just be standing back. But all right. So now it's in all of this context. You've got the DHS saying, hey, if you believe any of those crazy conspiracy theories about COVID, like you believe maybe it came from a lab or you believe that horse dewormer works or, you know, maybe you believe there's something wrong with the safe and effective vaccine. I mean, you Luddite, you don't believe in safe and effective vaccines. I mean, you could be a domestic extremist, and, you know, we're very concerned you could be committing violence against this country. That's what the DHS is saying. In fact, that's our biggest threat, right? Forget all the people streaming across the southern border. Forget, doubtless, all the Russian agents that have been secreted into our country who have come across the southern border. Because, I mean, if you were Russia, wouldn't you be planning ahead? Didn't we talk about the Islamic extremists planning ahead and getting their folks in here? And we've had several of them busted at the border. And think about the ones we didn't catch. Think about the ones we don't know about. Think about the Iranian agents that slipped in. Think about all these people. So you don't think the Russians are putting people in here? Of course they are. Everybody is putting sleeper cells in the United States because we just leave our back door open. You just come on in. Come on in the southern border. We don't care. But watch out, folks, if you have the wrong think here at home, if you think something funny happened in the election, if you think there's something funny about this whole COVID story we've been shoving down your throat, if you think anything that we don't tell you to think, then you're a potential domestic extremist and you're going to come under the watchful eye, the Sauron of the federal government. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.